Hi everyone, it's Carla from Casey Creates. I'm just wondering if anyone would like to do a haul video with me. I've been gathering up some crafting goodies over the last couple of weeks, I'd say. And as many of you know, our whole world is being locked down by the coronavirus. And um, we are officially included here in North Carolina. All our public schools have been closed. Um, at least for the next two weeks. Unfortunately, I just started teaching part-time this semester in the high school, so that makes my job kind of out of the question for a little bit. I'm kind of bummed about that, but I'm really sad for the students. I think I have a little bit of nervous energy or something going on. Now I'm a believer, and I know God's in control, so I'm not walking around like a basket case, but it is quite unnerving to see what's all going on in the world right now and I am thankful for crafting and uh, YouTube videos and a chance for a little bit of a diversion so I thought I would come on and spend a little time and show you some of the fun little crafting items that I've been picking up here and there um, I do hope they don't quarantine us to our houses though because with all of this going on, even though we have to keep a decent distance from one another, it would be awful if we couldn't get out and about like some countries are mandating. I'm trying to find the packaging for these pretty rose apple trees. I just have a bag here, and if you want to sit with me, I'm going to show you some of the things in here. I don't know where the packaging went but these were all in a package and they're super pretty um, they're stickers but they're on a slightly firmer almost cardstock like material I'm sorry if there's a little bit of a glare but aren't these pretty and I've already used a couple and because they're so bright I've just kind of toned them down with a little bit of distress ink um, but you don't have to. I mean, like this one isn't too bold. It's very vintagey. I think there were three of each rose. But they're like cabbage roses and peony roses and poppies. And they all came in a package by, I think, the paper studio. And they were half off. Um, so I think they were very inexpensive, like a dollar fifty or something. And then I was having fun with um, hunting for decoupage paper. So Craft Consortium makes really pretty ones. I know it looks blurry, but what it is is the, <laughs> the pattern is layered on top so much so that they look a little blurry. I've already used this one, but as many of you know, I absolutely love anything rose print especially smaller rose print and this is decoupage tissue paper that I've already used some of I'm trying to open it so you won't see the um, mirrored pattern so it won't look so blurry but of course I'm going to have trouble peeling them apart and we're so paranoid with germs I won't be licking my fingers <laughs> and trying to peel it apart okay there it is so isn't that pretty and then so I have this one and this one I haven't opened yet but I will so I'm not sure how you all are doing. I know that the, there are some very tragic stories coming out of Italy and previously Asia and it's just a little too much. I wasn't expecting this. Isn't that one pretty? This is like a baby powder blue background. So there's that one. I know I ordered these off of Joanne's website, but if you type in Craft Consortium Decoupage Papers, 
I do think they come up on Amazon and eBay as well. So I have that one. And then in that same order, I got um, some paper flowers. I have to say, when they got here, I wasn't ex as excited about them. They're a little flimsy. These are a little tighter and a little more lifelike. But they weren't very expensive. And I got some... Let's see... I think... Well, some glossy accents. I used my 40% off coupon. This was not a must buy. I don't know. It was an impulse buy, I guess. I didn't have to have that. This is an applique that I absolutely love for a sweet little friend of mine. Um, she loves VW Bugs and that little hippie vibe. So I'm going to make her a book cover with this. And as you can see, it was quite reduced. It was originally $3.99 and I got it for $0.99. Cents. And then the Mother's Day themed things at Dollar Tree this year are all um, these kind of patterns. And I just think these are super pretty napkins. They come in this little scalloped shape and open up into a pretty scalloped circle. And I've already decoupaged a couple of envelopes with these. Um, so our public schools are closed for at least two weeks. <clears throat> what, what worries me is there are children who don't get lunch unless they eat at school. So I'm going to be diligently looking for ways to help feed children who would otherwise not get a meal during the time these, these uh, schools are closed. Because I know that would break my heart if my child wasn't able to have a meal through the day. I'm not sure how we're going to work it. I do know there are a couple restaurants nearby that are offering to help feed. So I might just see if I can join in and help them. We'll see how it goes. I'll let you know. Anyway, those are some pretty napkins. Because I'm doing all of this sort of as a diversion. Knowing that there are much more serious things going on in our world right now. Um, these are some really fun little clips. By, what is this called? Artsy. And they have these hooks on the end. Here's one. So you can use it as a clip. But you can also hook something on the end of it. And there's loads of those. And those were only $1.49. Um, so I don't know. Do any of you know what's happening with schools being closed? I know they're mentioning a lot of the online options. I'm not sure what we're going to do. These are some shakers that I found. And I don't really use shakers, but I thought those would be fun to put in Happy Mail for people who um, make shaker cards. So I'm going to plan on slipping those in for somebody's Happy Mail. And then I have these teeny little daisy flowers with a little wooden bead in the middle. Those are pretty for Happy Mail again. I probably wouldn't use those. I found, let's see if I can get the other pack, some packs of dye, a writ dye that's called Petal Pink Rose, or Petal Pink, that's in Spanish, I believe, believe. And then this one is Olive Green that I could probably make slightly lighter for the muted green color that I love. And I'm going to hopefully dye some laces that I have that are all white and I can make these into the two perfect colors of pink and green which are my two favorite colors and this one was 74 cents and this one was only 62 cents the only issue is getting it on my hands I want to make sure I I'm very careful not to get that on my hands because I do not like dye on my fingers and fingernails and then they had some spools of trim 
that were all 50% off. I'm not sure you can see this one. Let's see. So you all, I'm hoping you'll make videos and give us something to watch as a diversion from all of the grim news going on with this virus. Isn't that pretty? Really like that pattern. And this particular day, all the trims were half off at Hobby Lobby. So that made this one $2.99. I'm sorry, $1.50. And then we have this one, and I buy this one over and over again because I really like this one. And if I had enough, I would have bought more because I do want to just kind of dunk the whole spool into these dies. So I have some colored laces on hand. But there's this one. It's really pretty. And this daisy one. Which I always find too expensive to just buy outright, so I wait till it goes on sale. And so I like that one for fairy journals. And what else? I have. I had a spool of a pink one. Um, I think it's over here. I already um. I already tea dyed it. I'll grab that in a second. So we have this craft store called AC Moore. It's going out of business. And so they're like slashing prices like crazy. So I got a pack of parchment paper sheets in their Wilton Cape decorating aisle. And I think it was like 72 cents. So I'll have fun decoupaging and making envelopes with that. I needed some more Ranger ink. This is vintage photo. Because I ordered one not long ago and it should still be fine, but it's probably laziness on my part. I ordered it and it was dried out when it got here and it wasn't in the original packaging. So they basically sent me a used one. I should have taken it back and I dragged my feet so long I never took it back. So I got this one with my 40% off coupon, but I am happy to have that back. Um, and what else? I may be coming to the end of my finds. These were really pretty, again, at the store that's going out of business. And they're just little butterfly charms. And I think these were like 72 cents as well. Let me see if I can find my, my lace trim that I he died which is right here so I just took the entire spool of trim and tea dyed it and it it just really muted it down you can see this uh, really synthetic nylon -y, um, it's probably like seam binding to keep it from unraveling but I always take that off or cover it up so even though it's a brighter pink which you probably can't see anyway um, I love how the actual lace itself turned this kind of golden pink, for lack of another color. I don't know what else to call it, but that dyed really well, so I was happy with that. And that's what I plan on doing with the other spools. I got these pretty rose um, patterned clips, wooden clips, for journals. And then... Some more paper flowers these came in um, a box this nice little craft box and they're in clusters and these were really inexpensive on Amazon and I have had a great time dipping them in like frosted paint and in a little bit of glue and glitter it makes them a little more substantial and they almost then work almost like a bead so those were cool um, and there were a hundred in here so and I don't know how to explain the size because it was explained in centimeters I think but if you can see 
It's about the size of my thumbnail. So they're pretty small. But they cluster nicely. And then my last was um, a little bid I did on eBay. And they are milliner flowers. I absolutely love those velvet, really old vintage milliner flowers that you, that you get on hats. Or you can see them on like doll clothes and little hats for dolls. These are so old and so vintage. But it was, for all of these, the bid was like $5.00. And I have so much trouble finding these, but they just really accent vintage pieces so well. If you just put a little pop of these on a tag or in a flower cluster. So I was very happy to find these. I have no idea how old they are, but they do seem quite fragile. Aren't these pretty? So here and there I will use these. I'm going to use them sparingly because I don't know. I just think they're so special. Um, and I wanted to show them to you. So this is actually the first time I'm opening these up. But I wanted to include them in my little haul. And every now and then I'll get in on a eBay uh, bid that I actually win. I don't go crazy doing that, but sometimes if it's a special enough item, which I kind of think these are, I'll give it a try. So thanks for watching with me, everyone. It was just my chance to have a little bit of a diversion from all of the news. I have to keep going online and checking the employee information. Today is actually a teacher work day and we can come to school between 10 and 1 and it's just now 10 a.m so i'm probably going to go over for about an hour but they were going to actually have a meeting um i have actually one more thing here um but they realized there will be more than 50 teachers there and you can't congregate in groups larger than 50 so we're going to have an online meeting Anyway, these are some more paper flowers that I purchased 50% off. And I just love how they look so fairy-like. And you can pull them apart and use them in clustering as well. So I'll stop gabbing now. And I hope you all are going to find some time to um, craft. And maybe find a way to take our minds off of what's going on knowing that God is in control and we really can trust him to take care of the details so um, I'm happy to visit with you for a minute and hopefully I'll be back and see you again soon bye everybody